This video shows how to configure parameters for multi-pump and fan control with a soft start for ABB General Purpose Drive ACS310 after installation. Pump and fan control switches auxiliary pumps on and off as required by capacity changes. Pump and fan control with soft start called SPFC is used where lower pressure peaks are desirable when a new auxiliary motor is connected online. In this example, we illustrate how the drive operates three parallel pumps that maintain water pressure in a pipe. Before we continue, you should ensure that your drive has been installed and connected to the motors and that your electrical connections are complete. We are configuring the drive through the assistant control panel. You should have access to the motor's nameplate information and the user's manual. Before configuration of SPFC functionality, set up the correct language and motor rating plate parameters in parameter group 99 startup data. Then let's get started. We start by selecting SPFC control macro from startup data parameter group 99. Choose 99 startup data with arrow keys and press key select, cell. Use arrow keys to select parameter 9902. Press edit and choose SPFC control using arrow keys. Then press save. This software macro updates the defined list of parameter values to their default values. The defined list of parameters and default values can be found from ACS310 user's manual. The logic of the selection, editing and saving, is the same for all parameters. Then we leave the group 99 and press exit. Now the SPFC macro selection is done. In this exercise, we use long menu display instead of short menu. This long menu shows all the parameter groups as a list. We go to parameter group 16, System Controls, with arrow keys and press Select. Then to parameter 1611, Parameter View and press Edit. Then we change the value with arrow keys from short to long. Save the selection and press Exit. Then we configure the parameters for pump and fan control. This is done from parameter group 81, PFC Control. Choose the 81 from the list using arrow keys and press select. First we set the frequency limit used to start the first auxiliary motor from parameter 8109. So change the value to 50 Hz with arrow keys and press save. When the capacity need rises above set frequency limit, the auxiliary motor is started. Since in this exercise we use two auxiliary motors, Set the parameter 8110 also to 50 Hz. The logic is the same for stopping an auxiliary motor. This is done from low frequency parameters 8112 and 8113. In this exercise, we set the low frequency to 25 Hz for auxiliary motors. Then we set auxiliary motors start and stop delays by setting parameter 8115 and 8116. The default values 5 seconds for start and 20 seconds for stopping are OK. So we continue to next parameter. Next we set the number of auxiliary motors for 2. This is set from parameter 8117. Then we set the interval between motor changes for auto change function, parameter 8118. In this exercise we use test mode. The drive always coasts to stop when auto change is performed. Then we set parameter 8120 interlocks to take the input from digital input 3, DI3, since we have three motors. Next, we set the start delay for pump and fan control with parameter 8122. We leave it to 0.5 seconds. Now we enable the auto change functionality with parameter 8123 by setting it to 3, meaning SPFC plus auto change. The last parameter to be set in this PFC group is number of PFC controlled motors. This is done by parameter 8127. It is set to value 3 in this example. Then press exit. Then go to group 14 relay outputs. Relay configuration depends how the motors are connected. 
We must set at least as many relays as there are motors with parameters 1401 to 1403. The macro SPFC already sets transistor output parameter 1805 do signal to PFC as an additional relay output which is connected. So in this case, we change only two relay outputs, 1401 and 1402. The value is in both PFC. Drive is now ready to be used. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.